Why a chroma key sucks so bad? It took me a very long time to figure this one out. Because of all the noise out there, it's the lens, it's the lighting. Your camera is not good enough, which is just about as arbitrary as one can get. They are probably true. The real reason is, however, far more sinister. <laughs> the reason is color space. Now, assuming your camera isn't a complete shit, and mind you, I'm using a consumer camcorder, the Vixia R40 and the iPhone 5 to shoot all my videos thus far, and I've no complaints, so your camera have to virtually be a potato. For what I'm saying to be not true as far as chroma keying is concerned. Here we have a still object in front of a green screen captured by the camcorder. Let's key out the green and observe the edge in black and white for maximum clarity. This is what we expect or want. This is, however, what we end up getting instead. This tragedy is caused by the 420 color space consumer video camcorders settle into. 420 basically means how compressed the colors are, or to be accurate, how much color information was thrown away to a safe storage space. Here are the three commonly used color spaces. 444 is God mode and will achieve the perfect chroma key. Unfortunately, its price tag is also God mode. But understand this, even if you have the money to buy this God mode camera, if your lighting sucks ass or your lens is shit, the result will still be shit. 422 is good enough mode and mind you, you already have to pay good money just to get cameras that record video in a format that stores in this color space. 420 is the normal output that consumer camcorders like the one I'm using stores in. That includes your phone as well. Here's something interesting. If you shoot at 420 at 4K and then scale it down to 2K, due to pixel subsampling, you will magically obtain 422 or even higher quality without the God Mode price tag. Whoa. The sad part is, all cameras, including the consumer camcorder, captures in the 444 color space. The color degradation happens afterward during the video format conversion stage inside the device. To find out how exactly this color space thingy works, click the link below. So, now you know the answer to Hollywood level chroma key is to get a camera that saves its video in a 444 or 422 color space format. But for those of you like me who simply can't afford shit like that, there are various softwares that purport to rectify the issue even though I don't think they do anything more than smirching the colors to get a smoother color gradient unless they got magical powers that can magically know what the original colors are supposed to be that has been lost to compression. So remember, Sometimes it really is not your fault that your chroma key sucks. Sometimes it really is due to the color space. But having good lighting always helps, which I almost always never bother to do. Hope this information helps. Bye.